So a couple of weeks ago, I went on a delivery. Let me tell you, it was an experience. So it was around seven o'clock at night and you know, delivery was going fine, it was, everything was normal. I got a phone call. Hi, yes, how can I help you? What can I get for you? They ordered and all right, cool. I'm on my way to the delivery and the delivery is to this retirement home, right? So I have two orders in the car room and I go into the same place. So I park the car and I go inside and I talk to the lady at the front desk. Hi, I'm here to deliver food. And she's like, oh yeah, let me just call the people to come down and get the food for you. So she calls the people, she's like, hello, your food's here, come down and get it. So I'm waiting there and two ladies come out the elevator and they pay for their food and they give me a $5 tip. And then I'm like, wait a second, um, where's this delivery going towards to? And they're like, let me see the paper. So I give them the paper. They look at the paper and they're like, oh, that's upstairs. You have to go upstairs to the third floor and to the room number to, you know, give it to the guy. I'm like, oh, okay. So this is someone that lives here. And they're like, yeah, 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 just go right up. Just go right up. And they gave me that look. And I was a little concerned, like, uh, should I be worried? You know, that type of look. So she's like, yeah, you know, just take the elevator and go up, you know, you'll be fine. So I go in the elevator, I press the third floor, you know, the door closes and you know, my fate's been sealed. So it's going up now and I'm like thinking to myself, like, why did she give me that look? I get to the third floor. I'm like, all right, apartment 3B. And I go towards 3B and I knock on the door. Hello, delivery, nothing happened. So I knocked on the door again. <coughs> delivery. Then I hear a voice saying, come in, come in. Now, if you're a delivery boy or a delivery man, you know, like, you know, whenever you go into someone's house, it's a little sketchy because they don't really do that. You know, they don't really invite strangers in, you know, like just because you have food with you doesn't mean you're like a good stranger. And you're like, oh, you know what? Just come into the house, you know, like sit down, you know, have a seat or whatever, you know, I turn the doorknob and it was open. I open the door and I walk in there and I'm like, hello, is anyone here? No answer. So me being the detective that I am, you know, I'm Sherlock Holmes and I'm a complete idiot. I walk in more. And if you've seen TV shows, you know, when you go to somebody's house and you walk in like too deep, someone's already in back of you planning like, you know, how to kill you. Like they're gonna knock you over the head or, you know, just chloroform you and you know, you're done. So I'm like, you know what, walk in more, I'm an idiot. And there was no one there. Like I saw the bed, there was no one there. You know, the TV and everything, the kitchen, there was no one there. I'm like, where the hell is this guy? And before I tell you any more of the story, let's agree on this idea that we have grandparents and we all know that old people don't really care about anything anymore at the age of like 80 and up or, you know, like 70 and up, you know, they don't care about impressing people anymore, you know, they don't like do the makeup, they don't dress well, they don't care, you know, for example, like, you know, our grandparents will fart and pretend like nothing happened. Your friends are over and your grandparents are eating dinner or, you know, eating on the couch or whatever, right? And they'll fart and your friends will be like, and your grandparents just keep eating. Granted, you know, one, they don't care, or two, they can't control it anymore. Thus, they don't care, you know, they're not really conscious about it. So moving off the story, I finally hear a voice. The guy's like, in here, come here. I kid you not when this was one of the most unique deliveries that I had. I turn and I see the bathroom. The bathroom door is like cracked open, so I'm like, Hello? He's like, yeah, come in, come in. This old guy was on the toilet with his pants down. I was like, excuse me? And he's sitting there without a care in the world and he's just like, yeah, just come in, you know, come into the bathroom. Like, he's waving me in there, like, you know, it's not a big deal. Like, you know, don't worry, you know, it's just two guys in the bathroom with my pants down. And I'm like, oh my God, what am I doing here? And he didn't pay by cash, so like, he didn't leave the money on the dresser so I could just leave the food and take the money and go. He had to sign the paper because he paid by credit card, so he has to sign the receipt. So I'm like, oh my God, I have to do this. I have to go in there. And while I'm thinking about this, he's just sitting there still waving me to come in. Like, you know, come on, you know, I'll sign it. Give me the paper, give me the paper. And he's on the toilet seat. So I'm like, you know what, Jay? Suck it up, take a deep breath and go in there. <gasps> Here you go, sir. He takes the paper, he puts it on his lap. You know, he's, he's, he's pantsless and he puts it on his lap. He signs the paper, he gives it to me. And I'm like, yeah, thank you, sir. Have a good one. And he's like, you know, leave the food out there. It's okay, just go. So I go outside and I'm like gasping for air. Like I have an asthma attack. And you know, delivery guys tend to look at their tip when we leave, right? Let's do a little recap, right? Two lady on the front desk gave me a $5 tip, you know? I was like, you know, what about this other order? She's like, you know, yeah, go upstairs. And she gave me that weird look. Those two ladies knew what I was getting myself into and they didn't give me a heads up. They didn't warn me. They let me walk into the bear's nest. They let me step on a landmine. They stepped on my head while I was drowning. They let this happen to me. If you're watching my videos, 
why, why would you let that happen to me? That's kind of messed up. But anyways, I digress. I'm looking at the receipt to look at how much tip I got from the guy, right? You know, I went to the bathroom and I saw him pantsless on the toilet taking a dump or whatever. And I'm like, you know, he's probably gonna give me a good tip. He's old, you know. I look at the receipt and this guy didn't give me any tip. The tip area was marked with the dash, with the, with the, with the line. That means there's no tip. Really? I went through all that for no tip. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting me. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Follow me on the social media links in the description below if you have some of them and if you want to. Um, but yeah, you know, more videos coming soon. Thank you guys for always supporting me. Peace.